My name is Eiji Matsubashi. I just turned 30 the other day. Sleepy. Since I've been working a lot lately, I don't get enough sleep. I don't have a girlfriend even after turning 30, and I have no chance to get married. Perhaps I'll be 40 before I know it. Just like this way? Huh? Um, excuse me, old man. It's Nekoya Station. What? Nekoya Station? Thank you! Gosh, I almost missed hopping off the train at my station. That high school girl. She must be the girl who always takes the same train as me in the morning. She remembered where I hop off. But, old man... You see, I'm an old guy in a high school girl's eyes. Certainly when I was in high school, I think I used to call people who were over 30 years old as old man and old woman. But from my point of view as someone who was actually over 30, I felt that 30 years old was younger than I thought, and it was a little early to be called an old man. <laughs> the next morning. Oh, the girl from yesterday. Hmm. I'm not sure if I should tell her thanks, but... If I speak to her, I might make her uncomfortable. Excuse me. Huh? About yesterday. I'm sorry that I called you old man. What? Oh, me? Oh, no worries. I wasn't sure how to call you out, and I ended up calling you old man. But right after calling you, I regretted a lot. I should have called you young man. You were worrying about something like that? Don't worry. By the way, thanks for waking me up yesterday. Oh, that's no problem. She must be a kind girl. I don't even know her name, but I was in a very good mood that day since I got to interact with a sweet high school girl. And later that day, when I arrived at the station nearest my house on the last train, I found the girl from the morning in the square in front of the station. Oh, the girl from the morning. Why is she here at this time of night? Hey, what happened at this late of night? Ah, uh, the young man. Something happened? Yes. I think it's dangerous, you being alone this late at night. Maybe you should go home as soon as possible? I don't want to go home. Running away from home? No, you should go home. It's too much trouble if you're accosted by a drunk. And if a policeman finds you, you might get caught. I was told my family is no longer able to have her. I have to abandon her. Huh? A cat? <coughs> oh, a cat. She looked like an abandoned cat. I felt sorry for her, so I picked her up, and I brought her to my home. My dad said I couldn't keep her, and I was relieved, but... After that, my mom came home, and she got so mad at me. She told me to abandon her. My dad and I got into a big fight, too, so I ended up running away from my home. I see. All right, I'll keep her. Yep. What? I'll take care of her responsibly, so go home for today. Really? You're going to keep her? Yes, I'll take care of her. <sighs> Let's exchange line when you get home. Send me a photo of her. Also, sometime soon, on your day off, can I come see her? I'm okay with sending photos, but as for you coming to see her... When I get old enough to live on my own, I'll take her in. So, I don't want her to forget my face. Okay? Please? Hmm. Alright. If it's during the daytime on weekends. Thank you, young man. My name is Eiji Matsubashi. Matsubashi-san it is. My name is Miran Kawasaki. I named her Noel. Got it. Then go back home safely. Yes. I don't know if this is good enough. Oh. Matsubashi-san, thank you so much for today. I certainly got back home. I'll go visit your house next Saturday, so please send me your home address later. Saturday? Is she really planning on coming? But Noelle is something. The high school girl, Kawasaki-san let me keep. Hmm. There was no way I couldn't let them see each other, so I had to invite Kawasaki-san to my house. Huh? That's awesome! You had a cat even before I left Noelle with you? Uh-huh. This is my first time to have a cat. Huh? You haven't had a cat before. Nevertheless, you accepted so easily, then what is all that equipment? I got it all together for Noelle. I went to a pet store and asked the staff how to take care of a cat, and I bought what I needed. You even asked how to take care of a cat? Yeah, 
I thought if I could get a professional to explain it, I would know for sure. But I guess I asked too many questions. In the end, they told me to Google it. How much did you ask? Like, about an hour? That's a lot! Well, it's not like you got a cat there. If they spent that much time answering your questions, they were pretty good staff. Since they explained things very well, I would have liked to hear more about it. Tsubashi san, you're so serious. Ever since I saw you on the train, I always thought you seemed like a serious person. People say that when I look serious. Oh, you don't like to be said a serious person? I don't know. It's often beneficial to be regarded as serious at work, but calling me a serious person in a friendship is often when people are teasing me. So it doesn't really make me feel very good, you know? I said that because that's what I thought was cool about you. But you didn't like it when I called you serious. Um, I didn't feel bad. <sighs> that's good then. Hey, please send me a picture of Noelle every day, okay? Also, can I come visit her again? I will send you a picture of her. But whenever you are coming, let me know first. Yay! Since then, Kawasaki-san started coming to my house every weekend. Hey, Matsubashi-san. Where does Noelle always sleep? Recently, she always sleeps on my bed. Huh? Is Noelle sleeping on the same bed as you? Oh, yeah. That's good. I'm jealous. She just likes warm places. When you start having her, she would sleep with you, I guess. I see. That's not what I meant, though. Ah. If I were a cat, I could live here with you. Do you want to be together that much? What? She is so beloved. Noella. Until Kawasaki can have you, let's wait together. Meow. He's so insensitive. One day, after about six months of such a life passed, Kawasaki-san came to my house to see Noelle as usual. But... Kawasaki-san, it's already a little past 6 p.m. You should go home soon. No, I want to stay a bit longer. See, Noelle? Meow. But if you're late, your parents will worry, right? Don't worry. Today, I'm having a sleepover with Noelle. What? Meow. Meow. You didn't know that? Cats have a meeting once every six months, you know? I've heard that kind of story before. But there are only Noelle and Kawasaki-san here. And Kawasaki-san isn't a cat. Anyway, I can't let Kawasaki-san have a sleepover at my place. Meow. I don't understand the human language. Meow. Don't pretend you don't understand it. This is definitely a no-no. I, an old man in his 30s, cannot let a high school girl stay at my place. I told my mom that I would stay at my boyfriend's house tonight. What? Boyfriend? I'm not your boyfriend, right? But I like you! Huh? I... I like Matsubashi-san. At first, you were just someone I saw often on the same train. But after talking to you, I realized you were polite and kind to a high school girl like me. And you adopted Noelle without any hesitation. You did so much for Noelle. That's why I fell in love with you. I like you, Matsubashi-san. I want to be your girlfriend. Kawasaki-san, it sounds like she's not joking. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Really? Yes, but I can't have a relationship with you no matter what. You are still a high school student. You know what I mean? You mean you can get arrested if you do things with a minor? Exactly. That's why I can't date you. I can't stay with you because I'm not a cat. I can't be with you because I'm a high school student. That's sad. I'm jealous that Noelle could be with Matsubashi-san. Sorry. But I don't want to annoy Matsubashi-san by being selfish, so I'll stop. I'll confess my feelings to you again after I graduate from high school. So by then... Be ready to fall in love with me and be my boyfriend, okay? Um, Kawasaki-san? Listen, Noelle. If Matsubashi-san comes with any woman other than me, you have to hiss at them, okay? Hey, hey, what are you teaching to Noelle? That day, Kawasaki-san didn't stay at my house, but went home. After that, every time she came to see Noelle, she started to make a strong appeal to me. And finally, she graduated from high school. Matsubashi-san, 
I graduated from high school. Will you go out with me now? More importantly, can you have Noel now? More importantly... Mm, actually, I still can't. Since my university is so close to my house, my parents didn't allow me to live by myself. I see. Then, Noel is still here, so Miran still needs to come visit here. Huh? Did you just call my name? <laughs> Make sure to get a permission from your parents before you come, okay? Yeah, I'll make sure to do that. If I get it, can I sleep over at your place? Come on, why are you that active? Do you like me? I do. How much? About the same as Noelle. That means you really love me. Well, well, after Miran had been super needy, I was painfully aware of my physical deterioration in my 30s. 